Welcome back. It's Eurovision tomorrow. Don't forget, uh, we'll be bringing you all the latest news from Liverpool uh, later on with our two reporters on the spot. Talk TV has sent a top team to Scouseland to bring you all the latest from the song contest, so stay tuned. Uh, now, first of all, let's uh, talk about uh, the uh, the latest TV race row. Uh, extraordinary, really. Uh, we all know what happened last weekend at the coronation on ITV the Bridgerton actress, uh, Ajoa Ando, uh, she said uh, that the royal balcony scene was terribly white. This has unleashed an avalanche of complaints from furious viewers who said, well, of course, the royal balcony scene was, if you, was white. It wasn't terribly white. It was white because the royal family are white. So why aren't you allowed to be a white family? Is that, is that now a crime? Is it wrong to be white somehow or other? Anyway, the new race row is this on Netflix. There's a new drama coming, coming out about uh, Cleopatra. Cleopatra is, is going to be played by a black actress called Adele James, which is absolutely fine, of course. Uh, now, the problem, though, is that the people behind the production also seem to be saying that not only will Cleopatra, who is always assumed to be historically a white person, she's Greek, or she was Greek Macedonian and became, of course, the Queen of Egypt, uh, she was white, uh, now, the, the people involved in this production are saying, uh, actually, Cleopatra was black. And uh, one of the reasons that they say this is a fact or should be taken seriously is uh, they've got a historian saying uh, in their bump, you know, their pre-publicity, uh, says, asserts in this preview, I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? That proves it. That proves it. So this historian's grandmother told this historian, don't, don't listen to what anyone tells you about that white Cleopatra. She was black, I'll tell you. So that makes her black. Now, she was Greek Macedonian, therefore not black. She was white. So there's no objection whatsoever to Adele James playing a white character. But I would object to the changing of history. This wokery is going mad. It's going mad. Now, Ajoa Ando, when she said what she said, uh, you know, it was like kind of a Tom Bradby was hosting. He didn't say anything. To be fair, uh, to her right, I think it was, was uh, the famous TV star Mylene Klass, uh, who herself of ethnic origin, she reeled back like this and go, what is this woman talking about? Uh, so, if you put the boot on the other foot, say it was me commenting on a black royal, a black royal family, uh, then, and I said, well, you know, the trouble with that balcony scene is it's terribly black. Wouldn't sound so good, would it? So I would say, I'm not in remotely saying that Ajoa Ando is a racist, but she undoubtedly made a racist comment. And now Adele James, who's playing Cleopatra, says that to question her casting and to question the debate about whether or not Cleopatra was white is fundamentally racist. Well, Cleopatra was white, so it's not really a debate. No one is questioning Adele James's casting. We're questioning the altering of history to fit in with some sort of woke agenda. It is absolutely crazy, sinister, and very, very worrying. What do you think about this? You know, as I say, it's like Bridgerton. In Bridgerton, there are lots of uh, black actors playing real historical characters who were, who were white. Uh, that's fine. No problem with a black actress playing uh, Cleopatra, and recently on Channel 5, a black actress played Anne Boleyn, who we know, of course, was white. There's no problem with that. But don't start trying to tell us Anne Boleyn was... That means Anne Boleyn was black. Or that means Cleopatra was... I think this is a kind of... I mean, if it wasn't so sinister and worrying, uh, 
because uh, I think it's a kind of a racism. It would be kind of laughable. It's such a joke. But uh, let's talk to uh, someone who knows all about this sort of thing. He's a lecturer in performance and cultural history at the University of Leeds, uh, Philip Kisley. Hello, Philip. Hi, Kevin. Nice to speak to you. Uh, thanks for joining me. What do you think about this? I mean, uh, they're trying to say, I mean, uh, as I say, it seems to be absurd. Uh, with no problem that Adele James, a black actress, is going to play Cleopatra. Cleopatra, we know historically, was of Greek Macedonian origin. Uh, ergo was white. Uh, they're now <coughs> trying to say, well, actually, she could well have been, she was probably black. Now, in Egypt, uh, one a furious uh, academic is now suing Netflix and wants Netflix closed down for this assault on Egyptian history. He says this is not true. So what, what I'm worried about here, Philip, is that we're casting, you know, they call it blackwashing, don't they, which I think is a ridiculous term. There's no problem casting a black actress to play Cleopatra, but I, I feel there's a big problem if we start saying, well, actually, that means Cleopatra was black. Yeah, I mean, you know, nobody bothered when Elizabeth Taylor played Cleopatra because nobody thought it was Cleopatra, you know, it wasn't trying to be historically correct. It was a big movie, you know, featuring Elizabeth Taylor, which yeah. is very... Um, but it's part of a, a wider uh, movement, isn't it, to essentially cancel our culture, to, to, to rewrite Western history. Um, and the difficult thing for me, and I think it's a really sinister thing, you've already used this word, and I think it's, I think it's correct, is, is that we know it's uh, fantasy, and yet we are buying into it. We're walking into it as a, as a culture, uh, the dominant aspect of our culture. We're walking into this uh, depiction of history with our eyes open and, and accepting it. This is what you will... Um, this is what you will get in schools at all levels. This is what you will get at higher education. This sense of um, skin colour and concept mixing and this playful, um, this playful approach to history. And it, it, and it is, it's just a, an Orwellian way of rewriting history. It is, isn't it? Uh, and as it's a sort of blurring of the edges uh, between fact and fiction. Uh, and I mean, I, I always contend, as I say, uh, you know, I, I'm probably saying this too often, but I have no problem with uh, black actors playing white characters. Uh, you don't see it in the other direction very often, but I don't have any problem with that either, a white actor playing a black character. Uh, but I do have a problem with the altering of, of history. And mm. one thing I would say uh, in your particular speciality, I mean, what do you think, I'm sort of going off on a tangent here, but what do you think, I mean, if I was putting on a production of Cleopatra or Romeo and Juliet or whatever, people that we always assume to be white, or Othello, I would want the characters to be plausible, uh, realistic, uh, you know, and by casting them uh, an actor or an actress of a different race, a different skin colour, you take away some of the authenticity of the production. I mean, that, that, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can look at it in, in several ways. And, and there is this ridiculous uh, move at the moment, isn't there, to say, well, uh, if it's a gay character, then my God, you can only have a gay actor. Or if it's a if it's a trans character, then you can only have a trans actor. I mean, that's going to be bad news for trans actors who who want to play anybody else. You know, there can, can't be many trans uh, characters. Um, so that's that's one extreme. Um, and, and the other extreme is is the opposite, of course. Um, I, I think you're absolutely right. And I think the, the the way forward is actually the way we've always done it, which is just pick the best actor for the job. You know, pick pick the person who can play the role the best mm. and forget the identity politics. The difficulty is, I was thinking about this today, identity politics just encroaches into everything. It's not just in 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 the kind of the, the drama we consume, it's not just on television, it's in the media, it's in politics, it's in the home. Young people in particular are just completely convulsed, engulfed by this. Mm. Um, and what happens is we're not appreciating art for art's sake. We're looking at all the periphery. Who's playing what? What colour yeah. are they? 
Yes. Are they the right sexuality? It's precisely the things, Kevin, we shouldn't be looking at when we are looking at a piece of art to take us somewhere else from our banal lives and the banal politicking that now is in, in, right through all of our ex experience. Philip, we should talk again soon. I'm afraid time has run out, but I will finish on uh, Ajoa Ando, uh, the actress, the black actress, is currently playing Richard III in a stage production. Make of that what you will. Uh, that was Philip Kisley, lecturer in performance and cultural histories at the University of Leeds.